Hello everyone, Sherlock fan number one here with another rant video about a movie you've probably never heard of or somehow blocked out of your memory. And that movie being Frozen. No, 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 not that one. This one. From 2010, about three skiers who go for a day of skiing on a mountain and end up stranded on a chairlift for a week. Where they must risk life and death to get out of their situation by surviving the elements and fighting off wolves. So I bet you're wondering with that description, this movie can't be anything but a great thriller slash survival blast. Well, sit back, grab a snack, and let's talk about it. Now my first point of this rant is this. Yes, I know they're stuck on a chairlift and things are scary and panic sets in. But I've had this discussion with others on what else can be done in this situation. And there have been several suggestions, such as tying the coats together to make a rope, jumping and rolling when you land, or even just hanging from the bottom of the chairlift and dropping down. And here's the irritating part. These characters try none of these. Again, yes, one of the characters decides to jump, but even when he does, it's in such a way that is irritating. He jumps straight down and legs straight out. Doesn't tuck, doesn't roll, doesn't dangle off the edge of the chair just jumped straight down. And another thing that gets me is when Dan, who's the character who jumps off the chair and finally gets to the ground after, you know, breaking his legs, he begins to panic, of course, as any sane person in that situation would. But when the wolves arrive on the scene ready to attack, Dan seems to just sit there and accept that he is going to die. He doesn't fight, swing at them, or try to defend himself in any way. Nope, he just lays down and accepts his fate. And after Dan's death, the movie turns its focus to the other two main characters, Parker and Lanch. And you would think that after witnessing the death of their friend, they'd start to look for another way to get out of the situation. But they don't. We first have to go through the blaming each other phase, the apologizing phase, which, if I can give credit to this movie for one thing, I do like the fact that they do not, in fact, play off the cliché of the girlfriend now being romantically interested in the best friend, or revealing she has always had feelings for him like so many other horror movies with this setup try to do. Anyway, after all is said and done, we finally see some more action when Lanch decides to step forward and climb the cables in order to get to a ladder a few feet away. And let me just stop and mention something that really bothers me about this whole situation. After Lanch is successful and gets to the ground, we finally see him get a snowboard and make his way down the hill, which is smart, but yeah, he dies. Which leaves Parker to her own devices, which I guess means sitting around for a whole nother night waiting for Lanch, until she finally decides she's on her own and must find a way out. While I'm on the subject of that, I realize something while rewatching this film. Parker doesn't really seem to do much in this movie. She just kind of whines, cries, and watches as the others try to get them out of the situation. Which really gets me, because even when she's on her own in the end, she finally ends up dangling from the chairlift and dropping down after it breaks. However, when she falls to the ground and the chair falls right after her, hitting her leg, causing her to have to crawl down the ski hill. But why? I mean, I know you have a broken or possibly sprained ankle, but you can still walk on it or at least use it. I mean, is crawling really your best option? All in all, the movie is bad but not terrible, the acting is okay, and the story rather simple. But sometimes simple works. And even to this day, I still kind of enjoy it. However, there are dumb moments and lots of waiting for things to happen in this movie. But I think for a survival slash thriller movie, it does get the job done. So do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button for more. And thanks for watching. This is Sherlock Fan Number 1 signing off.